Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate the feast of the holy apostles Philip and James. Like Peter and Andrew, Philip was born in Bethsaida and became a disciple of John the Baptist. Then he was called by the Lord to follow him. James, the son of Alphaeus in the Latin church, is held to be the same one that is called the brother of the Lord. He was surnamed Justice, that is the just one, and he was the first to lead the church in Jerusalem. And when the controversy over circumcision arose, he conceded to Peter's teaching, not imposing that old yoke on the disciples who were from Gentile origin. He was soon, or he soon crowned his apostolate with martyrdom. The gospel for today's mass is taken from the Last Supper, when Philip says to our Lord, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. And that is the fulfillment of all our desires. That's what every human heart longs for. And the reason is because God made man after his own image and likeness. And therefore, he gave him an infinite capacity and infinite desires such as cannot be filled and satisfied with any finite goods. Therefore, it is necessary that God alone, who is infinite good, should fill and satisfy that capacity. As St. Augustine says, O Lord, thou hast made us for thyself, and our heart is restless until it rests in thee. And so we entrust ourselves to the intercession of these two apostles, Philip and James, that they will, by their prayers, gain for us the grace to arrive at that final vision of the Father face to face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.